I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Cannonball Ireland's Summer Sizzler Drive. So we've got a bunch of cars here, supercars, classic cars. I have arrived in a classic car myself, I'll show you that shortly. Yeah, we're at the Supermax Plaza here near Loch Ray in County Galway. And we're going taking part in this drive. So we're going to Brew Brewery, I've never been there before in Ireland. And we're also touring around the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains in all of these cars. So let's have a look at the cars and then we will set off on the run. Okay, we've got the Scania R580. Oh. A nice start to the run, guys. <laughs> he, he's not part of the run. <laughs> so yeah, let's, <laughs> let's walk through some of the cars. Beautiful Aston Martin here. And the Audi, very, very green. And speaking of a green Audi, it looks like Kermit the Frog. This is Kermit's R8. Uh, Kermit also drives a, a Nissan GTR, but he's got the Quicksilver exhaust on the back of this. Have a listen to this. And we've also got the brand new Land Rover Defender. I, I did see a classic Defender uh, about a half an hour ago. It would have made a nice photo, but unfortunately we didn't get the chance to stop the driver to take the photo. And look at this beautiful M8 competition. This car, guys, has 625 horsepower. This car is an animal, okay? <laughs> and uh, let's have a look at the rear wing here. The M Performance rear wing. Oh man, this car. <laughs> It could be the fastest car here, I don't know. Is this the fastest car here? It could be, on the run. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but the Land Rover Defender, it's got the side panniers. They are an option, very nice. Uh, you might see the same side panniers on a motorbike. So uh, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan here. And the Ford Mustang, McLaren 720S. Very good looking car, these. Really like them. I'm not sure is that a wrap. Possibly a wrap. I'm, I'd be. Uh, I'd put money on it. It's a wrap. And we have the McLaren. No, I don't think that's the Nismo GTR. No, it's not. Anyway, let's move on. We have the SL63 AMG. Very nice M3 BMW and the Porsche. And we also have the Ford Raptor as well, looking very well. And we have Heather here. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hi. <laughs> very nice. Brand new as well, 202 Reg. He's got the roof down. He must be feeling optimistic. <laughs> the Lamborghini Diablo. Very. Let's have a look inside this, guys. Woo! Yes. Left-hand drive. Oh, yeah, the business. Another Mustang beside it there. A classic Mustang here from 1969. And this is the car I'm taking part in. It's a 1977 Mercedes 450 SLC. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Uh, it's going okay. It's going okay. I'll talk more about it on the run, okay? Uh, as long as it finishes the run, that is. And another M3 beside it there. Okay, guys, you're never gonna guess who I have beside me. This is Pat <laughs> McDonough, the owner of Supermax Ireland. This is the boss. Now, Pat, I met you about three years ago uh, during Cannonball Ireland at the Supermax Plaza in Moneygall. We're now at the Supermax Plaza in Loch Ray, near Loch Ray. That's correct. There's, yeah, it's on the, and, the Galway Plaza, yeah. Yeah, and we have all these supercars taking part in the Summer Sizzler for Cannonball Ireland. It's just a short run and they're warming up their cars at the moment. So Pat, it's great that you support these runs. Ah sure, we're delighted to be associated yeah. with, with any charitable event and Cannonball Ireland have done a, a, a lot of great events around the country over the last number of years and raised a huge amount for charity. So as I say, in times like this, uh, it's great to be associated and great to be able to help out. Yeah, and uh, when I met you last in uh, Moneygall, you were parking the cars, helping them park. Yes, in money gone. indeed, indeed. So and he's just, uh, you're just keeping an eye on things now, making, uh, sure, making sure everything's working out a proper. A little bit more low-key event today, but as I say, yeah. we're getting, we're, we'll be getting back to normality yeah. and hopefully inside the next year or two, 
uh, the cannonball will be up and running in full flight again. Mm. And fair juice to all that, that organise it, as I say, because it is a great event and it is a very worthwhile event as well. Yeah. And Pat, the last time I met you, I was talking about Supermax Monaco. Is it coming? <laughs> I think if we get to the UK first, we'll the yeah, first, yeah, we'll take it step by step. Huh? You watch out, guys. <laughs> Pat McDonough will not stop. He is opening up fast food chains all around the world, not just Ireland. And as you always say, Pat, 100% Irish-owned Supermax. Thank you very much. Pat McDonough, okay. thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. So these cars are nearly getting ready to kick off. Are we ready? Summer Sizzler, let's go. The car won't start, guys. It won't start. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, yeah. Feel the power, guys. The power. <laughs> this guy's got blue lights <laughs> on the Mustang. Look. Okay. I don't want to hit anyone. So we've got. We're gonna go nice and easy here, guys. Uh, yeah, so, uh, how many miles? 146 kilometers. Hey, come on! Let me out here! Hey! Yeah, we'll give it a bit of power coming off the roundabout here. Let's see, can the Land Rover Defender keep up with us? Brand new, okay. <laughs> 43 years old, come on! Go on! Oh yeah! Around 220 horsepower. And... Come on, come on, there we go. 70 mile an hour. Just under. <laughs> and yes, I'm gonna be t overtaken in a big way here, guys. Huh? I tell you, Land Rover have done a fantastic job on those new Defenders. They do look very well. Uh, we've got a Lamborghini Huracan coming up beside us. 2016 registration. That's an Irish-owned car. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice sound off it. <laughs> These guys are not hanging around, I can tell you that much. But this car is for sale. So 10,000 euro, O-N-O, -O, our nearest offer. But it is running quite well. I mean, there's a couple of bubbles of rust around. Uh, they can be touched up. So, if you want to make an offer for this car, please do. Uh, send me an email with the email in the description. And I can uh, give you the seller's number. Okay, I'm just pulling up. Oh, that's a nice bike. Suzuki R. GSX That is a fast bike. Yeah, I've just filled up here with diesel. So uh, uh, Sorry petrol. What am I talking about? Yeah, my uh, my gauge is a bit low So I'm just gonna fill up uh, so uh, Apologies to Pat McDonough that I didn't fill up at his petrol station. I had to pull down to a circle K Yeah, they're giving it a couple of revs Anyway, let's fill it up and hit the road again guys. Hang on a second. Go again, guys. Go again. Come on. Go on. There we go. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Is it going to stay started? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just got myself a coffee and a couple of buns and a bottle of water. Yeah, let's let's go. So a couple of hours later, we have arrived at Brew Brewery. I've never been here before. Uh, I don't know what this place is all about. So let's go in and have a look. Okay, so we have arrived here at Brew Brewery. Everyone's just uh, having a coffee and having some non-alcoholic drinks. There we have it, guys. Pale Ale. And we've got all the canisters here. I think there's just... They might be short on drink to cover everyone. Who knows? Yeah, so that's how it looks in Brew Brewery. Um, yeah, all non-alcoholic. No drinking and driving, guys. Taylor and Dixie. <laughs> the M8 competition, guys. Look at this. 
Oh man, the smell of new. <laughs> John, it smells a lot nicer than the car I'm in. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I, I, I'd like a drive as well. <laughs> hint, hint. Pause the video right there. Now, unfortunately, Ben broke down in the Escort Cosworth. He had battery issues, and yeah, it ended up on a low loader. A bit unlucky. Which one, guys? Left or right? Comment below, quick. So everyone else has gone. I will catch up with them shortly. So this car is 95,000 miles on it, almost. So yeah, I've clocked up about 200 miles so far. This is the route for the Cannonball Summer Sizzler Barbecue 2020. So if you want to read through that, that is how the route went. And yeah, quite well done. And we have the uh, Johnstown Estate. That is where we're ending with the barbecue. Let's see how it goes. So I've arrived at Slane Castle. It, it does say Slane Castle on here, guys. Uh, we drive onto Boyne Drive, but there's no one here. Except a couple of tourists. I don't know what's going on, guys. Uh, I did ask somebody inside in the gate, where, <laughs> does he know anything about Cannonball Ireland pulling in here? And he doesn't, so uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so as it happens, we were only supposed to drive past Slane Castle and not pull into it. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I think there's a couple of more of them driving past here. Oi! We've got a bunch of cars here. Don't pull in, guys. The gate's not going to open. Welcome to Johnny Fox's. We have a whole load of old, interesting curios here. The old grandfather clock, all the pitchforks, shovels, bicycles, coffins. What's going on here, guys? Look, look at the old typewriter. Man, this is weird stuff here. The old television. <laughs> Man, it's weird. I've never been to this place before, guys. Uh, yeah. Very interesting. Uh, let me walk you in next door. Uh, we've got a couple of dogs here as well. Hello. There you go. <laughs> in here as well. Let's have a look. What's this? No idea what it is. Uh, more forks. And uh, yeah, <laughs> two seats on that bicycle. And I've no idea what this is. What? What is that? I don't know. Wheels, uh, weighing scales. Uh, I don't know what half this stuff is. Yeah, it's quite busy here today. And yeah, so we're still waiting for all the rest of the cars to pull in. Uh, this car has a very expensive number plate, guys. Uh, that's worth uh, a few bob. <laughs> if you can manage to buy it off this car. No idea what year this car is. And the old uh, telephone box. Yeah. Let's have a look. Is it actually open? Uh, is it open? Yeah, it is, yeah. I remember back in the 80s, I used to get money from these in here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, in case you're wondering, it's not working. Cart with a whole load of turf and this old van as well. So that is the quick tour of Johnny Fox's. Uh, let's uh, have ourselves a refreshment and hit the road. I thought he was coming this way. So I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel. We're staying at the Johnstown Estate Hotel in Enfield. And yes, we've got 48 minutes of a drive to go. It's only 60 kilometers from here. 
Uh, all the rest of the cars are gone on a bit of a longer route, but I'm gonna go straight to the hotel. Uh, there is no cup holders in this car at all. Uh, so I have them wedged in there and the full cup is sitting there nicely uh, and being kept warm as well. <laughs> okay, I am going to, um, will I do a bit of a wheel spin, will I? In the stones. Hmm. Nah, give it a miss. Okay, so we're on the M50 in Dublin. It's very, very wet. Look at this guy, look. Cutting in in front of me. Get out of my way. Idiot, missing his exit. Look, nearly. So yeah, on the M50, just taking it nice and easy with the rain. It's very bad here now. So we haven't long to reach the hotel. Probably another 20 minutes. And then we will check out the barbecue. Yes. Johnstown Estate Hotel. We have the BMW i8 ahead of us. I hear something else. Oh, there's the Lambo. The Diablo. Okay, let's go in and have a barbecue. <laughs> That's wet now, guys. Whoa, it's really coming down. Okay, so this is the hotel room. Uh, yeah, pretty nice rooms. Not so bad. We'll, uh, we'll live with that. Okay, the barbecue's in here, guys. Ah, yes. Very nice. Well done, guys. Uh, I, I think I came down too late. Everything's gone. Is all the food gone? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's nothing but trays here, guys. All the food is gone. What did you do with all the food? I got none of it either. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I came down too late guys, too late, too late. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave it today from the Cannonball Ireland Summer Sizzler Drive. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. I will end with the Lamborghini Diablo in the background. No better way to end it. So I'll <laughs> wrap it up there guys. I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Another truck coming up then. Take care guys, thanks. Cheers! Oh, <laughs> well still, it's not too bad. The R8, and another one for good measure. How are things?